achieve. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Hazard4D, and today I have a similar 4 d tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can do abstract shape. Um, you guys can do shapes like this in my background. Um, this was made by um, um, Travi, um, I throttles or I don't know, something like that. And um, yeah, I was watching a speed edit from him. And um, yeah, he's. I decided to make a tutorial how you can make cool abstract shapes like this. It's not gonna be just like this, cause abstract is just being like putting random stuff. It's not like you can like um, do the same thing over and over again. Like it's just making random stuff and and um. So yeah, let's get started. Um, right now before the tutorial, I made this little quick thing in a couple of minutes. I guess I'm gonna show you guys how to make something like this. How you can make some materials and light up the scene and stuff like that. So here I'm gonna. Uh, delete everything right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete all these materials. All right. <clears throat> so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna position like your camera where you wanna be. You got um say you got a camera if you want position it. But I don't really use a camera because I c I don't really mind me just being center. But you can put a camera, put a keyframe wherever you lock. And then put a keyframe at the end, so whenever you move, you can just click right here and it goes back to it. You could do that. <clears throat> All right. So first thing we want to do is you, to make abstract. It's better to use um, primitive uh, objects, and the best ones are like the like the spear, torus, um, capsule, and the capsule. Those are the best, but you can pretty much use whatever you want. And um, you could use all these effectors right here. You could use explosion effect, all these. But I'm just going to show you guys how to do it with blend and twist. Those are the main ones, but also melt will be pretty good. Um, formula, if you want to do something wavy. And you want to do something crazy like explosion and everything, use explosion effects. And that would be pretty good. But I'm just going to show you how to do this blend and um, bend and twist for right now. So you want to set up your scene. Um, I usually other scene I use I use a capsule. Probably want to change the radius and the height a little bit. And you want to put a lot of segments, like 150, because when you start banding and stuff, um, you need a lot of segments. Or else it's gonna look all cracky and just shit, pretty much. <laughs> so I like to put it 150. And then um, here let's zoom in a little bit. And then want to insert a torus. And what I like doing um, is to make it like wrap around. So once it's like right there, that would be pretty good. And um, here it's a little bit big, so pipe radius. Let's take it down a little bit. And then let's take down the ring radius a little bit like this. Until it like it's like touching. Alright, there's good. And here let's put the... The segments up. I'm gonna use 150. Always try to use at least over 100. I think will be good. Uh, 150. And um, you can either put like a uh, let's say a spear right here. Um, with 150 segments. Here, let's put this spear at the top, like right here. And it's pretty much just adding a bunch of objects and then adding the effector. So here, let's add it like another torus. Let's probably add it like right there. I guess touching. All right. I think that would be good. And after you have like your objects, just put run the bunch of objects random, probably rotate up, do whatever you want. And once you have it, you want to hit Alt G. Or just go here to objects, and select no, and put all the objects under the no. And once that's done, you want to up, um, open it up. And then, no, first you want to go to right here, select blend, and twist. Right here. And you want to drag both of these in the no objects for it'll affect all of them. And make sure the twist is under the blend. And then you want to go to bend and go to the mode should be on limited, on limited. Make put it on unlimited. 
then you want to change the strength let's say um, probably like 30 around there and um, you can switch like the angle of it if you want and then um, on the twist you want to change it to unlimited to and then you pretty much just twist it randomly like this I think that would be good. Don't add too many because then it's going to start looking cracky. But for, for that, you get more segments, but also going to slow down your computer and all that. So pretty much you make like random shapes like this. And then once you make it, this control C V on the no object. And then um, you could probably rotate this. Probably one, one like 80 or something random like this. See now you have something random, and um, here let me take off global animation right now, and um, so you guys have this random shape. Also, if you um, control C V, then you click on the torus of the copy, you could move it like, like this. Just click on it, and once you move, it's not actually gonna move. It's gonna make it see. So you could probably like animate this like this. It looks kind of like a S. You just could select auto keyframe and make like an animation with this if you guys like. See, like this, I'm just moving it to random positions. And look, we got something cool already. Look at this. And then also, you got you got a regular, like you probably could throw in a couple of spheres in it, like I did at the beginning, how I showed you guys. And, um, see what I have. See, I already have this, and um, on the regular no object, you can control C V, and um, you can probably rotate it this way, open it up, and just move it like random positions. Right, right there <laughs> we have some crazy thing going on here <laughs> right so right it's in it's an abstract you guys get the point here I'm just gonna delete this one just to keep it with this one all right so now what's up to making the materials you guys could take your time mess with the settings add ra random stuff and you guys get the point so you want to double click here on the material on the color um I seem like bright colors work the best so probably probably make a green and then go to luminance and add like another greenish yellowish around there and turn the brightness up to 50 want to go to reflection take it down uh, let's see probably like 10% 10 to 20% as of for now and make it to 30 to 40 I'm gonna keep it like 30 around here that's pretty good want to control click on it control C V click on the material C V that makes a copy and on the color you want to make this one probably like a blue then also change the luminance to a blue then you want to control C V and you want to make this color see probably like a purple perps everybody loves perps <laughs> alright and then want to make one more let's make this one Let's see a uh, pink. Going with fruity colors today. <laughs> All right, and now um, the best thing to do here. Let's probably move another one, a uh, yellow. Oh shit! Sure, made a new one. Yeah, all right. And then just add it. Um, you can add it to the to the no objects. Um, automatically like that or you could just put in like random here I'm just gonna insert this 
any colors uh right there twist well, yeah, this one yeah these colors will make it look very c cool and with all these reflections and global animation and some lightning it's gonna look very nice right now see now we have this random shape right here and now to for the scene part um the best thing to do, if you have like Grey Scout Gorilla or something like that, you can use that. And if you don't, um, I'm going to show you how you can get good reflections and stuff without having that. Pretty much just make a plane. Go like up to here. And make it like the same size of your projects. Make sure this is selected in polygon mode. And just make it a little bit bigger. And poly rotate it in a little angle. Probably like right here. And then this drag it up like right here. And then want to make a a new material and um, uncheck specular and color. This adds some luminance. Probably make the luminance probably like one fifty percent. It could be pretty bright. And then just drag and drop in there. And that automatically is gonna make some reflections that you guys can see. And you guys could probably take the brightness down a little. So I think a hundred will be pretty good. And then, uh, or you could also like insert some lights, like this. Insert some lights, a couple lights, one in the back. Fill. If you go to Grey Scout Gorilla, he has a good, very good tutorial on how to light up scenes. Probably change it down a little bit. You could add some area, some shap, um, maps. Um, shadow maps off my bad and um or you could use grace gorilla you you could go to content browser and load up your um your browser um uh, use a soft box probably and um you could use also hydra images add a sky right click add a composition and here i'm use a hydra studio rig go to studios insert this one to it and want to go over here where it says um, scene back camera and I'll check it all right now the studios make it right here all the way up here And so yeah guys that, that's pretty much it and now to finish the project off this mess around be creative add random shapes and add mess with the deformers and stuff add random vowels it comes out the best and for the render setting just double click here add some global illumination if you have a good computer keep all this high and if you don't like me uh, put the primary sensitivity to 200% make sure this is an IR, IR plus QMC still image Go to Iterance Cache, make sure this is on low. The record density, make sure it's on custom. Bring this arrow down, make it negative four. The min rate negative four and the max rate negative two. Make the smoothing weak and the oversampling minimal. And then on, on anti uh, analyzing, it's going to be one frame, so the higher you go, the better it's going to look. But it's also going to increase the time, so you guys be careful on this. And yeah, if you want a very good image, go as high as you can on your computer. And now, when you go to save, if you want to insert it to like um, Photoshop, make sure the alpha channel is checked, PNG. Save it. Um, yeah, I'm going to name it Abstract 1. And I'm going to save it yeah, to my PNG folder. And make sure the output is whatever you want. Um, good settings for YouTube is 1280 by 720, but you're gonna go to After Effects. I mean, to Photoshop, so it doesn't really matter. You can resize it. But on frame range, make sure it's on current frame, um, so that wherever frame you're on is gonna render. So, so now just hit that render button, and you guys should be ready. And so yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Request any tutorials that you guys would like to see. And um, yeah, um, when I hit 1K subs, uh, I'm gonna release my big GFX pack so yeah stay active on my channel add me on Skype I hazard 3 or on aim my email is hazard.cinema at yahoo.com or you could um, keep in touch with me on Xbox I played 
kind of a lot, a couple hours a day. Um, my gamer text white tube space hazard 4D so it's Y T U B E space hazard 4D. And um yeah, peace out YouTube.